Hi guys, welcome to a new video on Fake and Real just for you. Today we're going to talk about Le Boutins. We're going to start at the seams of the shoe. Now you can see here the, that the seams are very beautifully aligned, straight, and you can just see a little edge here of the shoe. Now, if that is a too big of a gap on your shoe, you should definitely think about which model you have. There could be a chance that it's different than the standard pumps that Le Boutin sells. Now, the one thing that is very common in almost all of the Le Boutin pumps is the sole. Now, the sole has a more of a gap it shouldn't be filled up with anything and you shouldn't see any glue on the side as well. This is a part that after the shoe is done, they add the sole to the shoe. Almost looks like a removable sticker on the shoe. So if you have an opening just like this in the picture, you're all good. As I mentioned before, you should look at the seam work. Again, it should be a small piece of fabric and also align beautifully. Straight lines and precision is key here because fake shoes or fake products never have these positions. Also the back should be beautifully straight and tight together and should have a small gap. At the bottom of your heel you have a rubber metal tip that is removable. Now if it's one piece probably a model that is not Le Boutin original. Now the sole of the shoe is also very important and is widely known for the red soles. Now here you have two good examples of a fake one and a real one. The information and branding should be in the center of the shoe. Not at the top, not at the bottom, but at the center. Now as you can see on the left side here, the branding is too high. Immediately telling me that this shoe is not another point to look at. The branding made in Italy. This branding here is almost as big as the logo itself. And if we look at the right side, and the right side being the real one, we can see that Made in Italy is smaller than the logo itself. So again, two good examples of a fake one and a real one. On the left side, you can see Made in Italy being bigger or even as big as the branding, or more specifically, as wide as the branding. And with the real one, we can see clearly that Made in Italy is smaller than the logo. So remember, the logo is the largest imprint. Now dust bags are also very easy to identify as fake or not. Two things to look at. One is the color of the dust bag and two the size. Now the real original dust bags are big. So in this case, these two smaller ones are not the real ones. And also first glance at Bhutan, I can see the B and the O are not done correctly. And as we look to the left here, to the bigger one, I can see every letter in details. In most cases, the bag, the dust bag, is the same color as the color of your soul. Now this is how it looks like on the inside of a real dust bag. Also the box should be more quality sturdy and have beautiful and neat lines. The box covers also have the branding on the side. This is also important that it's beautifully centered and not too much on the bottom, on the top or left right. Now these two are the original and as we can see the box at the bottom is not. This is also a very good example of a fake box. We can see that the box looks very cheap and probably feels very cheap as well. And all of the glue on the side is letting go very easily. One other thing, if you have a real authentic box, you have the branding in the middle, as I mentioned, but also the information of the product itself. So the size, the branding, the barcode, and product number. So keep that in mind next time you're buying a Le Boutin shoe or just the box. Now the top cover, Le Boutin loves his glossiness. So also the branding on the box, it pops out more. You also have the word Paris on the right side of the box. Keep in mind, it is bold, but also look at the spacing. It shouldn't be all the way in the corner. And again, you can use this as a good example if you wanna compare it to a box that you have at home. Now we're at the insole of the shoe. 
Now the insole of the shoe also has a more glossy shine to it. So if you see that it's more matte, also look at the model that you have and if other shoes are the same as well. You can find this at their website, but the common ones are the glossy versions. Now this is a very good example of a fake. The logo is bold, it's not clear, and it's way too sloppy. And if we look at Paris on the bottom, we can see that the R and the S are very sloppy. And another point is that the space between the logo and Paris should be more double the space. Now this again is also a very good example. Again, the S and the R are clearly popping out as not done exactly and precise. And also Le Poutin, the logo is bold and sloppy. Now this is a very good example of how a real Le Poutin looks like. Now you can see down here that Paris is beautifully imprinted and it's not sloppy. The logo on top here also has a beautiful spacing and it's clear enough that you can see each letter. The spacing is also much better and in this case it's double the space. Alright guys, this is the end of this video. I hope these tips helped you identify a fake Le Boutin shoe. Any questions or comments are always welcome down below in the description. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again guys and see you next time.